Wait, you can't have to go to the X plus two. Far away, it's not far back then. You gotta find another conference. You guys are like, that's more. Why did you think I haven't bought them? Because I shouldn't have been able to buy them because I had solid decks. I can't add another conference. I'm trying to get some white. You just start buying. Because it's not what we need to do for people. Yeah. And so I did that and then you want the one half here and then you want half time to go back. Is why I have one that Okay, I want you to do with it. Like, it looked like you just made a Well, now it's so. Or, you didn't get rid of it at all. You just made it bigger. So now it's two. No, I'm just I can do it this way. Two is equal to. This is what I have to do. squared plus four x plus four over two. Be careful. These desks are older than you are. Probably not. No, seriously. I got them. They were brand new when I was hired. I've been teaching this my 23rd year. Yeah, I'm definitely older. The only one in here that's new is that one right there. The one I'm sitting in? The one that's different. No, the one that looks different. Look Look at the one with the white top and the black chair. (laughs) Oh. Oh! I was like, what? I think I'm putting my hair. What's the answer? Who are those? They're they're circles with pretty circles. They are pretty circles. Okay. Can you put it here? No. And tell me if I'm being stupid or if I actually did something wrong. It literally looks like you just hit the knob in your face. There is no denominator now. That was not a fraction. Actually, it does cancel. Well, I don't know. What's your deal? Oh, just kidding. What is your I don't know, because I canceled, and I just have a little okay, fraction. I didn't you know what's possible? Thank you! I see, I could do that, because they were equal. But I thought I could only do that if it was already, if it was like addition or something like that. And I just thought I could have butterfly it. You're not butterfly. You're cross multiply. So you just why do you like multiply when it's equal? Well, when it's equal. That's when you cross multiply. Why? Proportions. I didn't know that. Yes, you did. Think about it. If you had like okay, two so thirds equals x over five, well, how would you solve that? You could cross one. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not the same thing. Wait, would it be the bottom of the fraction? Hold on, I'm trying to figure out. Would they both be whole numbers? Do you'd have something equal something? Just do they cool. cancel like they said? I had a question on six. Yes, I don't know what actually, x plus two. Gets oh. out x plus two. Okay. But this was x plus two minus x. I'm sorry. But it's two. Because it's multiplied by one. True. Because x plus two minus x. Um I don't think I'm thinking. You're not trying to find that right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can so the I know. So we're gonna find that. Right. You have negative x over mm-hmm. it's, 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 <laughs> That's why I'm like, eh, let me think. So, the inverse is not that flipped. No. But see, look, you get x on both sides. The inverse is you flip flop x and y, and then you solve for y. Then add the x. Yeah, don't do that. Do the, the derivative formula. Actually, you're really complaining. Do the derivative formula? Yeah, we got a formula. X. Remember, it's. Uh, well, that would be zero. If I divide by negative oh. two, x minus x oh. equals negative one. Yes. 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 Y
Here we go. So the function is blah. What points uh, x, y on the graph have a property that the line tangent to f, so that slope, it has a slope, oh, right it has a slope of one half. So tangent, so that's Drew. Yeah. So we take the derivative of f of x. Mm -hmm. So f prime of x is going to have to use quotient rule. So low d high minus high d low. Square the bottom. And away we go. And then it becomes x plus 2 minus x over x plus 2 squared. x minus x, let's go away. So that's just 2 over x plus 2 squared. And then that's supposed to equal, <coughs> excuse me, 1 half. So I can cross multiply that. I get x plus 2 squared equals 4. Take the square root of both sides. You get x plus 2 equals plus or minus 2. Right? Because square root of 4 is plus or minus. Okay. Subtract 2. So you get positive 2 minus 2, which is 0. Or negative 2 minus 2, which is negative 4. So... Right there, it has to be C, because that's the only one with the X's being 0 and negative 4. Now, I guess I should try the other ones, because it could be E. Actually, so, I think I have the closer answer. No, because you tried. So, we plug it into here to find the Y coordinate. If I plug in 0, I get 0, so that's why I have 0, 0. If I plug in negative 4, I get negative 4 over negative 2, which is negative over, which is positive two, yeah. So it's that. We good? Yeah. All right. Six. I hear that. Also, it was my idea to do equals two. So anywho, number six. Let f of x equal blah, and g is the inverse of the function. And it tells you that f of zero is one. What is the value of g prime of negative one? We don't have a G. Well, G is the inverse function. So just G? Well, remember inverse. Inverse is this. And then we're going to find the derivative of it. And we have a formula for that. Yes. It was 1 over F prime of F inverse of X. Okay, but what isn't that the same number though? Isn't no. it whatever x is? Well, I mean we're gonna plug in one. Is that what you mean? It's a g one over one. Just just a minute. <laughs> okay, so we're going to need to know what f prime is, because there's f prime. So if f of x is two x plus one cubed. Then f prime of x is 3 times 2x plus 1 squared times 2. Times two. Okay, now we got to do f inverse of x. Well, f of 0 is 1. So that's the point 0, 1. So the inverse would be 1, 0. So f inverse of 1 is 0. So this is 1 over f prime of f inverse of 1. f inverse of 1 is 0. So it's 1 over f prime of 0. Which is 1. F prime of zero, I plug it in right here. It tells us that F prime of zero. No, F of zero. F prime of zero would be six times one squared, so it's six.
That was yesterday's homework. Oh, there was. Yeah. All right. I'm going to skip ahead so that we can practice a free response question. Yeah. And I want to do one that's a calculator free response question because that's the kind of test we're going to have tomorrow. So here we go. <clears throat> a rodeo performer spins a lasso in a circle perpendicular to the ground. The height from the ground of the knot measured in units of feet in the lasso is modeled by the function yuck. Yep. Where t is the time measured in seconds after the lasso begins to spin. Find the value. Now remember, this is a calculator problem. Mm -hmm. All right. So 